Hi, right, I'm Graham from Castle Cameras, and I'm here today to show you the all-new Canon EOS R6 Mark II. So, as you may have seen from uh, from various press releases and on our website, the all-new Canon EOS R6 Mark II is now out. And here it is. Very excited to have it. Now, this is a great camera. The R6 has been a massive seller for us. It's been a very successful camera, uh, really well loved by uh, wedding photographers, portrait photographers, action wildlife photographers, everyone, but particularly by content creators because it's a very versatile hybrid camera. Now, Canon have uh, seriously looked at the kind of people that use uh, the R6 and have really honed and tailored and tweaked a few of the great features uh, that were on the R6 and a few of the, the ones that need a little bit of refinement and they've come up with the Mark II. So, as you can see, the body and the shape and the size is all very similar to the uh, existing R6, uh, but we can see there's a few new controls. So over on the back, we have this new control joystick. Up on top, we have an interfacing hot shoe to use with uh, electronic stuff like the uh, the new Canon EL5 flash and the um, the Tascam audio recorder attachment. Uh, but this is probably the biggest change. So the off and on switch is moved. And now we've got this uh, selector switch which selects between video and stills. So as you're working, you can quickly switch between the two modes without having to mess around with your PASM dial. Um, on that subject, they've added a couple more custom function buttons, so you can really tailor this camera to have it exactly how you like. And what I really like, they've moved the off and on switch to just here by this sub-command dial with a centre lock position. So when you're filming and you pull it out of your bag or, or whilst you're actually filming, you're not going to knock any other controls. So it's not going to change uh, what it is that you're trying to do. Change your settings, mess up your settings. You know, it's the worst thing in the world when that happens. So uh, it's great that Canon have taken that into consideration and moved it there. So let's have a closer look at some of the features. Headline specs for the new R6. The uh, dual pixel CMOS AF2 system uh, is, is in full effect in this camera and it's got some new refinements. So the, the tracking up information has been updated. So now, along with all the uh, pre-existing motorsport tracking that was on the older versions, uh, people tracking, sports, etc., like that, they've updated it. So now it includes trains, planes, and horses. So uh, depending on what it is that you're shooting, you're definitely going to have a more intelligent AI autofocusing system that will pick these things up. Uh, great uh, autofocus technology, really market leading stuff from Canon. This thing is an absolute speed demon too. 40 frames per second on the electronic shutter, 12 frames per second on the mechanical shutter, uh, and that's with full AE and AF capability. Um, on top of that, we've also got a burst mode, uh, which uh, records at 30 frames per second in RAW for half a second before you actually hit the shutter button. So it just means that you are never, ever going to miss that decisive moment. So they've also made refinements to the in-body optical stabilization. So now in conjunction with the optical stabilization from your lenses, you can expect up to eight stops of IS. So meaning shooting in low light conditions uh, is gonna be an absolute breeze. There's also been refinements in the sensor department. They've upped the resolution by 20%, putting in a 24.2 megapixel sensor. Video shooters have not been forgotten, this being aimed squarely at content creators. So now you have full width, oversampled, 4K, 60p coming straight out of the camera. Uh, you can also uh, record 6K uh, RAW via the uh, external HDMI to something like a Ninja, uh, and it will do 180p full frame, uh, full HD. In a technology shared with the Canon Cinema line, they've also added false colour to the EOS R6 Mark II. Uh, this is a feature whereby the camera overlays uh, colour over the image that you're seeing through the viewfinder or the monitor, uh, and it helps to identify areas that are overexposed and underexposed, and allows you to adjust your exposure accordingly to make sure you get great looking cinematic results. They've also thought about the colour codex, so now we also have the all new 10-bit H265 colour science, as well as the 8-bit H264. HDR hasn't been forgotten with HDR PQ and full HDR in movie mode. 
And a great new feature, which I'll try and demonstrate now, is focus lock. So um, when you focus uh, face detection wise on a subject, when they move out of the frame, the focus will remain where the subject was. So not going focusing straight to the background. So for a more professional look, the focus just holds its position where it was focused on the face. There's also another great new feature called focus breathing correction. So a lot of photo lenses aren't designed uh, specifically for movie making. So when you do a focus transition, uh, you get this kind of zooming effect, a slight zooming effect. Now they've built in a correction for this. So with certain RF lenses, uh, camera senses these, applies the correction. So now you can do focus pulls from near to far subjects without any kind of breathing effects. Low light has not been forgotten either. This thing can focus in low light conditions down to minus six and a half EV. That's less than half the light of the moon. So uh, really low light focusing ability. It's also got high ISO of 102,400, which is expandable as well to, to a higher resolution digitally. Uh, but yeah, native 102,400. The EVF has also been briefed on. We've got a 3.69 million dot EVF, which uses the optical viewfinder simulation technology from the R3. So now when you look through the viewfinder of the R6 Mark II, it gives you more of an experience that's more alike to an actual DSLR. Uh, so it gives you a bit more dynamic range, makes things easier to see and compose. Other features include dual UHS-2 SD card slots, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and you can edit your raw pictures in the cloud. This new version of the R6, the EOS R6 Mark II, is going to be a big hit, we are sure. The R6 was such a great seller, uh, the R6 II can really do no wrong. It just simply takes what was great about the R6 and just elevates it to a whole new level. This thing really is uh, a do-it-all tool for, for pros, advanced amateurs alike. So available uh, to pre-order now from our website. Uh, it will be available to collect on the 29th of November, body only, 2779. Uh, you can also get it in a kit with the 24 to 105 f4 to f7.1 lens uh, for free 129. Or you can order it with the uh, the kit with the 24 to 105 f4 L series lens for free 999. So available to pre-order on our website now. That's castlecameras.co.uk. I've been Graham. Uh, take care, and I look forward to seeing you next time.